Good morning. Thank you for joining Consumers Doctors channel. You can Google Consumers Doctor dot com, dollarcare.us dot org dot com, Google MD Live, Microsoft MD Live, and Facebook MD Live, Alexa MD Live. You will get to the same site, folks. This is a non-profit organization. Non-profit organization. This has been a, a, my personal ambition. I'm passionate about healthcare. I'll tell you my personal story. A lot of folks, we make all, we all make mistakes in, in life. One of the mistakes is not having health insurance. Yes. I'll tell you why. I'm a, you know, I've been a runner all my life, ran six miles every day for 30 years, never had health issues, followed diet, took care of myself, never seen a doctor. One day, at the age of 62, I just, on a treadmill, I do a stress test, no, I was on a treadmill and basically uh, after about an hour or two I started having some discomfort. Then I asked my son, hey, I did feel some pain after the uh, exercise. He said, Dad, it's easy to find out. We'll do, instead of doing a CT angio, we'll do a just regular angiogram through a radial artery. I said, I agreed because it sounded so simple. Yes, I went and had the procedure. They found a little blockage, they put a stent in. Everything was perfect, doctors were perfect. Hospitals were great, service was fabulous. No complaints, <laughs> no complaints. 10 days later, 10 days later, I got a shock. I literally had a shock when I saw the bill. Guess how much? A lot of people say, oh, 30, 40,000. You must be kidding. I got a bill for $227,000. I had no knowledge. I never signed a paper. I didn't even know what the, how much the amount was. 10 days later, when I saw that bill, that changed my life. That literally, literally changed my life. If they can do to a doctor, can you imagine doing to the ordinary folks who are economically, physically impaired? They might get another heart attack looking at that bill. We need to wake up. We really need to wake up because I believe time has come that consumers have to take the control back of healthcare. As we have seen lately about you know disclosure you know you need to you need to be you need to have a transparency in healthcare you need to have a hospital transparency in healthcare transparency of everything what we receive so i believe time has come for you as a consumer or a patient to take charge and be proactive about it. How do you become proactive? First, if you're in 40s or 50s, if you're healthy, time to invest in health insurance. Invest, not spend. You're investing in health insurance. A lot of people, have, they think buying a health insurance, you're losing money. They're 100% wrong. I can tell you, they're 100% wrong. Invest in health insurance is the way to go. Lower your health insurance premium. If you are healthy, you are in well category, your premium should not be more than 100 bucks, folks. If you are paying more than $100, there's something is fundamentally wrong. Because you don't see the doctor, you don't go to the hospital, you don't have any, any tests, your insurance, I'm talking about deductible health insurance, you should not be more than $100. Buy a thousand, two thousand, three thousand deductible, whatever you can afford. 
I'll tell you that deductible portion you'll you you'll get it back that deductible portion. How you get it back is the beauty is having a health savings account. The deductible portion you will get it back from your health having a health savings account. You need to set up. When you go to the healthcareamazon.com or dollarcare.us.com in the service section there's an application for HSA bank. Fill up the application, contribute. If you're an individual, $300 a month, $3,600 a year, folks. We are family, $600 a month, $7,200 a year. That goes a long way, folks. I'm not kidding. That $3,200 in 10 years, I'm telling you, it's going to double. Not $32,000, it's going to double. That $72,000 for your family in 10 years, it's going to double by having it in a brokerage. Your HSA bank is already linked to the Ameritrade bank. You can buy some solid index funds. You will come out ahead, folks. You will come out ahead. I want everyone, especially the self-employed, having small businesses, under 50 employees, even the employers, should contribute and it will be beneficial for employees and your company. As a small business company, you will come out ahead by contributing to your employees by setting up health savings accounts. I can vouch you for that. I am a small business employer, but you know what? I'm having difficulty buying a health insurance for my employees. You know why? That minimum wage thing is just keeps going up and up, and this workman's comp is is unbearable. I wish they can modify and focus on health insurance and a little bit on workman's comp. I understand, you know, workman workers needs to be compensated if they have injury, but health insurance is most important than workman's comp. If there's a problem, you have a health insurance, you have a health savings account. This, I don't know what the government is thinking. I have no idea. I don't want to get into, you know, this politics of healthcare. I believe the time has come for consumers to take charge. You vote for everybody whom you think you can be empowered. And also, not only empowered, you can, you can bargain. You can literally shop around for your health care, folks. I'm not kidding. If your hospital, your doctor is expensive for a hip replacement, knee replacement, believe me, globally, you can go anywhere. You don't need, you know, you don't, you're not tied to any hospital. You can go anywhere. You can have this procedure done in one of the best hospitals globally. You can compete global, globally. There are hospitals far better and a lot cheaper. Folks, I need your input. I need your help. I want you to follow me, subscribe, share, and make some comments. You know, sometimes I'm streaming myself. I may not reply to your comments, but I will try my best to reply. Thank you for listening. I hope I've, I did my part and you do your part getting your health insurance. Goodbye and salute.